These are secrets Disney doesn't want you to know. I've always thought of Disney as a super clean, kid-friendly production studio that will never make anything controversial or bad. But Disney paid a lot of money to people to hide these things. Because if people found out about these, it might ruin their brand name. And hopefully I don't get sued for exposing some of these secrets. But what's up guys, you're watching Reaction Time. And without further ado, I'm going to reveal some secrets that Disney would never want you to know. These are supposed to be hidden secrets. Only people that looked really deep into it probably figured them out. For example, the movie Toy Story from Disney's Pixar actually has a ton of references from the movie The Shining. Here's Johnny! For example, the carpet in Sid's house. You know Sid? Let's go home and play. If you look close at the carpet design and then look at the carpet design in The Shining, you will see that the patterns are identical. And also, a lot of times, Toy Story had the number 237, which was actually the most haunted room at the Overlook Hotel in the movie The Shining. So that's the first thing Disney was trying to hide. Now, of course, this isn't a fact. Like, it's not like I talked to the producer or the animators and they told me, yeah, it's based off The Shining. These are things that people noticed. It's almost like a conspiracy. But this next thing is not a conspiracy. It's actually something that really happened. Disney actually sued a daycare center for painting Mickey Mouse on its walls. So, I mean, I've seen a lot of daycare centers. They always have cartoon characters and a very cute decor or decals on their walls. But one Disney representative actually saw it and decided to sue the daycare center for copyright infringement. So technically, by default, I can actually get sued for showing this photo in my video. I'm gonna use this as an excuse for journalism. You know, I'm just, I'm reporting the news. So I find that to be the strangest thing. So many kids adore Disney characters and Disney is so harsh with their copyright that they won't even let a daycare center to even paint it on their walls. It's not like the daycare center is actually selling copies of their movies or anything like that. They just use it as decoration. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I think this is getting pretty weird, but that's not all. It gets even weirder. So in the movie Tarzan, probably the most explicit movie of all the Disney movies, in my opinion, because it is a muscular dude that basically barely covers himself and it's made for kids. So there is a scene. This is a frame from a scene where there is a hanging shadow of a man in the background, as you guys can see. Well, that's actually the dangling corpse of Clayton, who is the villain in the movie Tarzan. <laughs> He actually got choked out by vines and was basically hung and the shadow reflects that So I guess this is maybe directed towards adult that would actually understand to be honest when I saw the movie I never noticed that so in the year 1938 Mary Ford actually sent an application to work for Walt Disney Productions She wanted to be an animator So she wanted to be one of the people that draws the characters and she didn't get the job for being a female stupid old Man. I guess you never knew that, but yeah, this is a direct quote that said women do not do any of the creative work in connection with preparing the cartoons for the screen as that work is performed entirely by young men. For this reason, girls are not considered for the training school. I mean, I think that's very sexist. At the time, women couldn't even vote. It was 1938. So that's another little secret that you would never know about Disney. In the movie Beauty and the Beast, almost all the servants are actually objects. They're basically objects that came to life and then they're is the forbidden west wing as you guys see in the photo it is shattered objects so these are probably dead servants smashed by the beast when he was angry or had a short temper is it possible that the beast actually killed servants? Well, these are all smashed objects. It's very possible. If you watch this when you're older, you probably understand. In the early stages of Toy Story, before they were fighting more, Woody, which is one of the main characters, was actually just a ventriloquist dummy. It says the other toys gang up on him and actually throw him out of the window. Originally, they wanted Woody to be a very bad toy who would insult other toys and wanted to get rid of Buzz Lightyear the most. He's there, just, just, he's looking at toy. So this is almost a completely different version of how Toy Story came out, but I'm glad they changed it because this would be very dark and just weird. So there's actually a real human skull on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disneyland. I've actually been there. I did not know there was a real skull, but apparently there is. Next time I go there, I'm gonna tell the people I'm with, yo, you guys know that's a real skull? They're not gonna believe me, but now you guys know if you've ever been in Disneyland, let me know. And if you knew it was a real skull, also let me know, but I highly doubt you did. There has been two people that died in the Matterhorn ride 
ride at Disneyland. Everything's happening at Disneyland. Like Disney World, I didn't see anything bad happen so far, but Disneyland is the one I always went to. And it happened in 1964. 15 year old boy was injured in the Matterhorn bobsled and fell out. 100% his fault. But then again, that's still creepy knowing that this ride is probably haunted. And then 1984, which is exactly 20 years later, which is also weird, a 48 year old woman, when she was thrown from a Matterhorn bobsled car and struck by the next oncoming bobsled and neither of them were wearing their seatbelts. Okay, so that's 100% their fault because you have to make sure you guys always wear the seatbelts or the lap bar. That is weird though because I always thought Matterhorn was a, it was a bit creepy. It was creepier than any of the other rides. It always feels very unsafe. If you guys know what I'm talking about, if you've been on the ride, it feels dangerous. And now knowing that it's probably haunted by two people that actually died in the past. <sighs> and finally, it says that 35 Disney World employees. Okay, now it's at Disney World. It's not just Disneyland. They've been arrested since 2006 and accused of sex crimes involving children trying to meet a minor for sex or for possession of child pornography. This is actually in favor for Disney that they're that vigilant at catching any of their employees trying to do stuff with children. And so congrats to Disney for being on the lookout to target their employees. But guys, be careful when you're at Disneyland. Make sure you go with parents or friends. Don't go by yourself, especially if you're young. You guys, if you want to check out some more secrets, Disney doesn't want you to know. It's going to be the first link in the description. It'll take you to the article where I found all these. There is about 10 more that I didn't go through. If you're a big Disney fan, you'd probably want to read these for yourself. That's going to wrap it up for the video guys thank you so much for watching before you leave i suggest you check out free time it's a channel with me and my friends we just do some random stuff in our free time and if you haven't subscribed to this channel already subscribe by clicking that circle check out some more videos here and i'll see you guys next time hope you learned a thing or two maybe there's some things about universal things that universal doesn't want you to know if you leave a like i'll do that one but i'll see you guys next time have a good one and peace out